Welcome back to Learning to DIY. I want to see if I can take one of my favorite tools and actually do some tool marking on it. Let's make some mistakes. Hmm. Trying to figure out if this can be marked with a paint marker. It's like, it's an eagle grip, right? I want to mark it as mine. Let's see what we can do. Try with the lights. You have to do this a lot. Alright, get it down into the nooks and crannies and the crevices. Get it down there. For this it's recessed, so we wipe off the top and leave the leave the deep stuff. Silvery. Oh, now I'm really making a mess. Overpainting. I don't even know if this will stay. Might wipe off. Try not to touch anything that I've already touched up. Probably should have waited on that. Okay, so we've got that. That. And that painted. That painted. Now we just have to wait for it to dry. A little 91% alcohol. Uh. Don't break that stuff. Okay. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Let's see. Well, that brought that out. Okay, let's see what this one does when we Put some alcohol on the situation. Whoa. That is looking good. All right. Clean that up nice too. One thing that's not sure is the deep emboss and how that's going to work. I just never know if it's going to turn out. Hmm. Yeah, I can read that a lot better. You know, these were made in the USA, so we definitely want to see how that does. Because I want to show that off. That's where I like my tools made, even though I own a bunch of different ones. Oh yeah, USA. I know I've done those marking tools before, but everyone's a little different, and you never know how they're going to turn out. So maybe I'm helping some folks figure out if you know that's one of the tools they want to try it on or not. Thanks for learning with me.